We're going first, I guess. I don't think it matters all that much. This is a <laughs> this is a weird hand. <laughs> I don't know. Do I keep this? Like I have the ramp card. I had the the two drop. <laughs> like if Hask. I don't know. We're like decently likely to draw into something better, especially with the Inferno Four. I think I think we keep this. I think it's got to be Vanquish. Those are one main deck copy, but. I don't think it's amazing in this matchup, so. Uh, no. Vader, Star Viper. I think we keep the Vader here. DST. We're fine with that. Okay. Yeah, this is tough. I actually I, I like all these cards. <laughs> um ATSC is probably the worst one. Um I'll just attack first. See what sync doesn't really matter here. He, he's got a super laser. Okay. This is really interesting. I think I think it's gotta be one of these, right? Yeah. Okay. Um this is difficult. So, I uh, we can't out dirtle him. Like Gideon trades into both these guys, or er, no? Let's say I think we'll go and just do two. Uh, both these guys actually don't trade into Gideon because Gideon gives himself experience, which is cool. So we'll, you know, we'll just, we'll see if he attacks. Interceptor, we're fine with that. Let's see, Rook. I think both these are going to the bottom. Let's see, is he going to sequence it right? He does. Okay. Um, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this trade. Say wait. <laughs> I I see. I don't. 
Because, wait, so the way it would work is, like, so he's got... So, because I think technically they're defeated before you discard them. But I think... No, I think because he's defeated, even if he gains extra health. Um, let's see. Well, because Kallus lets you draw a card, right? But I think Kallus is still defeated. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Someone asked this. If Gideon Hask is defeated at the same time as an enemy, his ability does trigger it, but being defeated will immediately put him on the discard before. Right. Yeah, so he dies. Yep, because he's because he's defeated. So even if he gains extra health, he's still defeated. Um. This is interesting. I, oh god, I like all these cards. So let's see, like, so what's he gonna play on six? Like Raider? He could oh he could play Force Surrender. I actually really don't want him to force surrender me. Um So I think like Power of the Dark Side here open. Um Like, do I care about... I think I care about keeping these other cards more than I care about playing the Super Laser. I think we're in like a decent spot here. Pass to like Do we do we just pass? Like Nah, I let's see. I think we force him to, to have something to deal with Iden. I don't honestly care that much if he does. Oh, it's just going to be like fifth brother. Yeah. Uh, super laser. That's fine. Oh shoot, yeah, he can deploy. Um This means we could top deck power of the dark side though. Unless he has another unit. Alright, we're gonna be so good here. Okay. That's not quite what I was hoping for. I think, let's see, so seven, so we can't play like Barrage. I think this card is just like bad here. So if we go like, so we can't play Barrage, Death Trooper, which sucks. Um, Let's see, does, so Death Trooper Ambush gets us like five. 
Let's see. Is there like good stuff that we could pull off of Vader? I'm not running Snowtrooper Lieutenant, so honestly, like not really. And then he has Palpatine this turn, which sucks. I can do five into the Vader. Do I just? I think I. Hmm. Let's see. There's so if he has Palpatine here, Barrage is a bad line. If, there's no good lines here. <laughs> there's no good lines. <laughs> um like God. I I think I like I wanna be out ahead, but honestly like playing playing Vader here, I'm just gonna get white by Palpatine. <laughs> I think, like, honestly, going, like, Aiden just into Vader here is not a bad move. Like, and then ECL, Death Trooper. And, like, we're not, like, playing Vader. Or, actually, even, we don't even have the ECL Death Trooper. Just playing Vader here gets us there. We still get, like, our board killed by Palpatine, but that's fine. Um... So no Avengers in this hand means I think we go for super laser. Just be real greedy about it. And then, yeah, we'll go and kill him. And maybe it's Palpatine or another Vader. We're just fine with that. So yeah, we could actually get punished here by Raider, but I still think that was probably our best line. <laughs> okay, so he's thinking. Like, he could have forced surrender here still, also. See, and it is Palpatine. I think he's thinking if he wants to. Does he? I think he has to do all six. Yep. Okay. Um. I'm just going to take the initiative. Okay, Devastator. Let's see. Uh, Cause we're not playing, this is like one situation where like playing Krennic is actually better than playing Aiden. Cause you can ECL Death Trooper and kill the Palpatine, but you can't do that here. So because I'm not as good at the game as my guy didn't draw the Avenger, but we're still fine. Like, so I, we're just gonna have to take, take this hit. I'll just play the walker. Let's see. That's, yeah. But this deals, this answers Palpatine cleanly. And then, or even like Devastator next turn also does that. <sighs> I'm really hoping this Vader 
isn't too mean to me. Ugh. Please don't have another. Oh, he does. Okay. Er, let's see. We have barrage. So, let's see, barrage. Can, we can do eight. Ugh. I just, I hope he, let's see, or no, I actually don't hope that he runs into me here. Mm, maybe I do, actually. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. So, uh, he's out of e cell targets. So I didn't kill his guy this turn. So I, I have the ignition. I don't have like, anything left. Or I guess I could like wait. Oh, God, that's insane. <laughs> oh, no, that's insane. Okay. Uh. Uh, let's see, can we win here? Let's see, six, so that's 10, 13. Um, let's see. Yeah, God, that, ugh. That saber actually, like, I think it's a terrible card most of the time, but here it wins in the game. So then we do, we kill those guys. But then I just, let's see, I think, I think I just die here, like, no matter what. <laughs> Better get information to see what he plays around. Yep. Ugh. Hey, so Barrage is a terrible card. God, man, that saber. That was annoying. Okay, so I think... God. So we got... How did we lose that game? So we got, like... He just he was able to, to push damage sooner. Um, so you want to be able to stop him from doing that. Let's see. I think we, we might want to bring in make an opening. Like it answers a lot of his cards in a interesting way. I think let's see. Do we bring a Vanquish? No, not really. I think we bring in Super Laser Blast because like the Vader play into DSD Blast Short Trooper is it's like this is like the best type of that. And then I think we bring in Legions for like the Late game shenanigans. And so then, like, what are we cutting? We're cutting VPDs. Just, like, totally, because I don't need them. So we're bringing six. I don't know, what else do we take out? Do we take out the Vigilances? I might just take it. Or no, I think we take out at least one Rook. I don't think we need three. It can be useful against some of his stuff. I think we take out a takedown. I think we'll take out one of the vigilances. We'll leave one vigilance in. See if it comes up. It could come up. Ugh. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I think, like, okay, so the, the... I think he got, like, two big attacks from the Vader leader, which was also a big thing. I don't think we could... I think at, at that point, it was it was hard to come back. We were on the back foot there. Um,
But, like, we just don't have good outs to <laughs> Vader leader. <laughs> I think, I think possibly, like, that one turn where I had Super Laser in my hand and I resourced it, I think that was wrong. I think I should have played it. Um, and, like, resourced the Barrage. Probably. Okay. Barrage is, like, you think it's going to be good, but it never is. I'm going to ship this back because it doesn't have removal. Or, not removal, ramp. Okay. Um, God, <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> All right, so I, the vigilance. I want to see like if it actually makes a difference. So I might just keep it for fun. Super laser, super laser. I think is gonna go, and I think, I think the vigilance has to go. I, I, I'm not gonna keep it. Um. Legion, probably not great here. Let's see. Is there like. God, I, his play is probably ramp here, so this power of the dark side just sucks. I think I'm just not going to get to play a card this turn. <laughs> um, I guess, like, if it's like fifth brother, I think. Do I like. Do I trade here or do I try and push damage? I think I trade. Ugh, my hand is just terrible. Let's see, are we gonna do that for free? Okay, we're fine. Um, so Devastator's too good, I think. Power, power of the Dark Side's too good. All these cards are good. Like, I wanna... Let's see, so on four, like, what are his plays? It's mostly like their ships and stuff. So it's like if it's Interceptor, like Star Viper loses to Interceptor. Um, I think like, I think, yeah, I think, but we want to be able to, we actually do want to play a threat. Um, I think it's Dooku, oddly enough. Okay. And then I think it is open pass. Because <laughs> I don't want to get wrecked by an interceptor. Let's see. I think we're fine with that. Now we can play this. And next turn we like ECL Hask over that. That's not a bad play. Barrage, as we know, is a bad card, but I think Death Trooper is a worse card here. <laughs> I think we keep the Barrage, yeah. So now, okay, so I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to ECL over the Fifth Brother. The question is, who do I give the experience to? Um, and I think it's, you give it to Gideon. I think you give it to get in. Yeah. Let's see what like it does here.
Ugh, I hate that. I hate that. I just hate that. Okay. I think... We put the pressure on. Fine with that. So now he can't actually trigger this guy. Yeah. Ah, uh, second bra is definitely going away. Okay. So uh, how do we navigate this? So, let's see, Force Surrender. We're actually kind of fine with Force Surrender here. Like, and I don't think he is going to go for it. He could, I guess. And it wouldn't be terrible, but I think we're fine. We'll just hit you for three. You got the Raider, you got the Raider. Do we like, let's see if we pass, he just gets into the Vader turn anyway, so. I think we play ATSD here. Cause I'd rather him attack into the ATSD than into Aiden. Plus, ATSD Barrage is actually an out to Vader, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, although he has, he can just run it over with Vader in the meantime if he wants. But then he gets wrecked by other stuff. So, we've got time. We can hide and heal. Let's see, if he Vader and runs over my Iden, I think I'm fine with that. In fact, I think I actually prefer that to a lot of things. Let's see. I think most of the time I'm claiming here. Like regardless of what he does. Like unless like I guess if, if he runs over ATST, then I Okay. I think I just take initiative. And then like the barrage does it, like, and then most like a lot of other draws do it. Like if I draw Dooku, that does it. Vader does it. Um Yeah. The question is like, do I barrage? Let's see if, if this is a DST, then I think I barrage. 
have to get rid of the DST also. Ooh. Risky. I think it's Star Viper that goes here. Let's see. So I have I have like a couple options. I have barrage, I have takedown. I have just run over Vader. Um let's see, so Barrage is me put four. So I go four and four. See, does he have he has he has ECL up, so like any number of things is an out to the ATSD. But like let's see. For four. There are things that, that do it for four, yeah. I also I do want to get damage on that raider. Cause that is gonna be kind of annoying, I think. So I think we go for barrage. There was like a line there where I go take down Star Viper, but I don't think it's very good. Palpatine. Oh yeah, Palpatine does screw me over here. I think we go there. Um, God. what if he just has like Vader plus lightsaber again? <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be so stupid. But like, I mean, I don't know. Odds are he probably has it. I think it's, I mean, I think it's my only play to just run out this walker. Um, yeah, I think we know that. And he just goes Vader and Saber, and then I cry. Well, I think at that point I would have the topic Super Laser Blast. Which like we do have, we did resource one, but we got, we got at least one in there. I also just hope he doesn't pull DST here. I think he's already played, I think he's already played two of them, so. There's decent odds he doesn't pull DST. Okay, he didn't pull it. Some people are just so good at the game. Okay. Um, I have no actions.
<sighs> so even like in this situation, I still think was was resourcing super laser blast the correct play turn one. I'm reevaluating. Um, because I don't know. Like I'll have to re I'll have to like look back and see what other what cards I would have resourced for it. Because it would have had to be a lot of cards to keep it for this scenario. But like if this scenario loses me the game every time, like maybe I had to. I don't know. But like we're okay. Well, actually, like we're actually like decently far ahead if we draw super laser. Oh, some people are just better at this game than others. Okay, so I think it it's ATSD, right? Right. Let's see, or we could actually like this. This play isn't bad. This is probably bad. At like at this point in the game, I think it is. Yeah. And so then, takedown can kill fifth brother. Ten, eleven, twelve, like thirteen. He can do. He doesn't quite kill me this turn. Okay. Wait, does that? Yeah, that does work that way. Alright, come on. Super laser blast. Come on. <laughs> oh wait, we just we're just dead to Vader anyway. Or no, if we draw super laser, we're not quite dead. But we're basically are. Some people are just better at the game than others. Uh. But yeah, there's there's literally no reason not to to Vader there. We're because the game is that I have to draw Super Laser Blast or he wins. Like, and like if I do, he's better off if he does the Vader ping because then he does another Vader ping and wins. Oh no, he resourced both the Devastators. Oh, uh. God. Okay. Ugh, control mirrors are difficult to play sometimes. Like I okay. Did I go wrong like at any point in there? I think I'll have to like rewatch over the game. I'm glad like I recorded everything. Um 
And well, I guess we'll see like if Tower thought I made any misplays, but um, feeling really bad about my opening hand just like game one with tower and i kept drawing one thing today yeah yeah like your opening hand and control mirrors matters very little um because there's just not much that can be done to impact the game state early on well congrats vika i had a good time uh yeah, this is a really this is a really interesting matchup. Like I think just just having Vader gives you so much of a I don't know, I don't think Micah even got like that lucky. I mean, like the Yeah, I think he he was fine. Like I there's there's nothing that he had that I was like, "Oh, he totally shouldn't have had that." Um He definitely has like a reputation for being a lucky guy, but I think he's fine. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Where did I go wrong in that game? Um, God. Like, Vader being able to, like, pull a bunch of guys is really, really good in control mirrors. Because control decks right now, like, we do well at, like, clearing one guy. Like, to clear multiple guys, we have to have a guy established. <laughs> and if, like, and if he has so many ways to just kill my walker on eight, like it, that it, yeah, it hurts. I think like maybe is it, is it just correct to just pass out until he plays the Vader <laughs> like that on that turn? Like maybe it is because then if we go into the next round, then I get to play Avenger and I'm, I feel better about that. Uh, but then I'm just like taking a bunch of damage because I think he had like Palpatine plus Raider established at that time. God, that sucks. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, well, I think neither of us had ramped that second game. Well, I think he eventually got it, which was big, because he could play. Or no, 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 he would have been on eight normal. I don't. I don't think he did. Did he? Um. Yeah, man. Palpatine gives you like Palpatine gives you a lot of um, uh, ways to like enforce like escalation. Um. Yeah. Hey, stop trying to make Red Iden work, Tower. It's not good. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I think I'll have to. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and build this Vader deck at some point. Cause I think it's good. It might be like, well, let's see. I think it probably has worse matchups into like, um, aggro and in probably into Boba as well, but it has better matchups in a control. Like I, I, I do think I'm disfavored here cause he is like the, the Vader leader, which is like an extra thing 
that um that I have to deal with that I don't really have an easy way to deal with. Um, so that gives you an advantage. And like Palpatine is, is good. I think Palpatine is probably better than Reinforcement Walker for eights. In fact, almost certainly. Um, just because it allows you to, to actually kill things on eight. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's like the the big thrust of it. Cause like what happened in that game is it's like I'm I'm my out to so ATSD is like my out to ATSD Poseidon is my out to Vader. He doesn't and kills my Aiden, which I don't like that he did that. Cause I would have preferred to just barrage straight up, kill him. Have a full health ATSC. I don't know. I don't know. But like, I think like one of the the I think the the time when the momentum changed in that game was when he had Palpatine from ATSD. Am I wrong? Um, let's see. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some game review. Can we get there? Okay. So the point at which I think the the second game. So let's see. So here's so like our early start was like. I think I played Inferno four. He played DST turn one. Um. So are they saying anything important in the chat? Yeah, I don't know. All right. So like, okay. So we go, or no, okay, no. So I go short trooper, then I trade short trooper to DSD, which I think is right. Maybe it isn't, but I think it is. And then I play this. We go into the, I think we pass out. And then, so on five, so I go Gideon. Into that, he has the force choke, which answers the threat well. Um, and then, so it's like this turn. So this turn, I think, is like the the big one. Um. So he actually he has the SLT. So he, okay, so I I was right earlier in saying that he had ramp, but I didn't. Um. Which does change the game a lot. Okay. Um, like, if he didn't have the SLT here, I think I'd be in a much better spot. But he does. So, like, going into here, so I just attack, and he is Raider, which makes sense. And so it's not it's not Force Render. And so then I go ATSD. He, of course, runs into there, so we can get out Vader. Uh, I run at the Iden. And so, like, here's, like, the decision point that... Um, he had really is he could have gone like Vader attack into base and you know get a little bit of chip damage onto somebody or he could go into Aiden which I think is a correct play on his part I think like I think that's that makes the most sense for him because he has no way to stop the barrage play to kill Vader next turn so he just he he takes out my unit while he can which and then, so I think he, he takes a while to think about it, but yeah. So we end up we end up like this. Um, how did that extra damage? Oh, we had the force throw. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I guess like force throw. Force throw potentially could have gotten a lot more damage than that. But yeah. Yeah, force throw is so good. But yeah, but so I, then so I make it. I have a decision here, and I don't. Did I make the right one? I. Let's see, because. So I didn't have a unit in hand, so I, th I think I made the right play. Um, 
I think I made the right play by going for the barrage here. Uh, but then he had the Palpatine, and then it's like from this from this board state, like he is way ahead. Um, like this is this is the turning point because he now has two threats, which collectively deal ten damage, which is like a three turn clock. And then I have nothing on the board. And, like, if I had an Inferno 4 here, it'd be a different story. But uh, I don't. And so, like, my next turn, like, I have to play the stupid Walker thing because I don't have another play. And then he goes, like, Vader into Fifth Brother, which then, like, further just puts it. Yeah. So, so like, you can see so that's that's basically what happened in this game, I think, is that, that Palpatine was, was the crucial play. Um, and like the the super laser was key because it enabled him to have it. But that's like how these control matchups go: is you have to like be the first one to like establish that board where you have threats, and yeah. So. Say. Are they saying anything interesting? All right, I'm just gonna head out. All right. Um. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, thank you Tower for streaming our game. Um. Tower is going to be streaming the uh one of the last top sixteen games. Uh, tomorrow morning at eight a.m. Pacific. So, uh. Yeah, tune into that. Keep uh keep playing unlimited and always remember to take the initiative. <laughs>